100 days, I challenged myself to master jump rope skills. Oh, that was 20. I just got 60. Being just naturally terrible at jump roping, I always felt it would be so badass to learn this. To add another style of training to what I know. To get good at something I just always sucked at. And it broke. Oh, it's way harder. Way harder than it looks. I just want to jump rope. I didn't, I didn't sign up to be violated like this, okay? I just have to do 10, and that's one goal down. So I started out pretty rough, with very goofy and stiff form. I really can't believe how terrible I am at this. This is really sad. <laughs> I still remember the first 30 minutes, struggling to get to just 20 skips in a row. Alright, that's 10. Oh, that was 20. Alright, 20 minutes of practice. I got 20. If I can just practice for 100 minutes today, maybe I'll get 100. And what's really funny is that my mindset in the beginning was to just spend 10 days practicing, which obviously didn't really work out. <laughs> so the first goal I set was to get to my first 100 skips in a row. And I thought that once I could do that, I'd move on to doing the tricks. I started trailing off the camera, but I just, I just got 60. And while my record would climb all the way to 70, I always burned out before I could reach it. I was really confused because I thought I was in decent shape. I even tried switching to a spare jump rope to see if that would help, but it didn't really help at all. One more time. We got day two of jump ropes. I brought my boy with me. All I wanted was just to get to 100 skips in a row. I was gassing myself out over and over again, reaching 70, 80, but always messing up at that point. It was feeling a bit hopeless until one attempt, I suddenly just didn't mess up. That's a hundred. Oh, hell yeah. That's definitely a hundred. Since I got a hundred, I think it's time we do some tricks now. Can't be that hard, right? Okay. It was hard. It felt like starting all over again. I looked and felt incredibly stupid attempting these tricks in the beginning. It was right then that a wave of self-doubt dawned on me. I just feel like a fish out of water trying to, trying to do these tricks. I have no control. It's way harder, way harder than it looks. And deep down, I already knew that if I wanted to get as good as I wanted to be at jump roping, it was going to take more than 10 days. Progress on the tricks slowly came together, day after day, hour after hour. Sometimes I was actually landing some double unders. I was trying to get better at running in place, and I was practicing one of my big goals, side swipes. Though for now they looked awkwardly terrible. But about a week into practicing jump rope, I started watching videos of other boxers learning how to jump rope. And I'd see them pulling off some of the craziest, most badass combos I've ever seen in my life. And it was on day seven where I met the crossover, the trick that I hated and loved the most. It's basically just doing an X with the arms and it seems simple, but the timing and positioning of your arms is way more important than you might assume. Because I swear it took at least 50 attempts to get my first one. Oh, and did I mention that sometimes messing up a trick will cause the rope to freaking whip you? Oh, that fucking hurt. Whoa! So after a whole week of practice, I was able to land everything at least once. But in order to actually get good at these tricks, there was a lot of work to be done. Jump rope actually broke. Jump rope just fell apart, like. And it broke, you know. I just bought a couple new pairs of jump rope. Let's go. Right, check this out, I brought my new pair of jump rope I bought. The other ones I bought kept breaking.
Hey guys, big news. Off camera, I was just warming up, starting to actually enjoy the session. And out of nowhere, I was like, wow, this jump rope feels really weird. And I noticed that it's in two pieces. So that's great. So a few weeks of practice in, I was finally having real fun. Things were actually starting to click. But there was one skill that still stayed stubborn. It stayed painful, and it made me feel like nothing I tried would make me better at it. The crossover. I kept thinking about some of those videos of the other boxers skipping, especially this one of Floyd Mayweather. Pulling off these lightning fast crossovers while running in place, and exploding with crossover double unders, which is literally 10 times as hard as a normal double under. So while I could do crossovers at a slow casual speed, I really wanted to get to that elite level of speed. So I started working on that. I thought it'd be simple at first, but just crossing your arms a split second too fast or slow would cause you to mess up, and every now and then, that rope would whip you. Usually in the back, but sometimes it could also be your ass or even your face. And while some days it felt like I was beginning to get better, other days it just randomly seemed like I lost hours of progress. But what never changed was the dozens of whips to my body I experienced every session. That fucking hurts, man. And that feeling of messing it up wombo comboed with a vicious whip to my face or my ass would honestly just piss me off. I almost feel like constantly being whipped was activating my body's stress response or something because it was just making me unreasonably mad. And to make this situation worse, as I began trying to progress my skill in other tricks by doing them with more speed, that meant that whenever I got whipped, it was going to be super hard. And that means super painful. Bro, it's legit. It's not funny. It hurts. Look at my back. Practicing went from enjoyable to a painful chore. And it's dumb too, because the whole time I knew my frustration was unreasonable. Like, it's just jump rope, bro. Chill out. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. I fucking hate this. Fucking shit. It keeps whipping me on the ass, but I'm in public. I can't react to the pain. It's, I, I just want a jump rope. I didn't, I didn't sign up to be violated like this, okay? So maybe I was just practicing too much at once or expecting myself to get to an advanced level too fast. I noticed that while progress was quick and fun in the first two weeks, it was at this midpoint that I began to notice nearly no progress from session to session. And every time I tried to push myself to get better and then notice no improvement or sometimes even did worse than last time, it hurt, physically and mentally. So these last few practice sessions of jump rope, I've been putting less pressure in myself to, to stop forcing the learning of these skills. I'm getting less frustrated each session now. I'm not getting as mad, I'm not getting pissed off anymore. If I feel like practicing moves that I enjoy doing and I'm kind of good at already, then I just do that instead and I'm still making progress. It's crazy. Like, you know, I'm actually enjoying myself. Like today, I'm looking forward to this jump rope session. When like last week, I, I would drive out to these places and I was just like, I don't want to practice these moves and just whip myself and, and be tired. I just, now I'm fucking, I'm enjoying it. I don't want to put so much pressure on myself to learn an elite boxer's level of jump rope in one video. And either way, I still think I got pretty goddamn good at jump roping, you know? I showed a few people, they were impressed. So, I mean, I think it's safe to say I'm pretty good at jump roping at this point. At the 10 week mark, I felt that jump roping was completely natural at this point. I felt like I could just go on forever and I could transition from trick to trick seamlessly, rarely ever making mistakes. And what's really interesting is that I remember back in the beginning of this challenge, I began trying to do shuffle dance while jump roping and it seemed nearly impossible. But around the 90 day point, I randomly decided to try it again. And without even practicing it, I could just do it. That is so satisfying to do. Both jump roping and dancing, I'm amazing. And the same thing with moving around while jump roping. I could now pace around in circles or move side to side without messing up. It genuinely felt like there was a real connection between my body and the rope. Whereas on day one, doing anything like this would seem unfeasible. The hours of training were worth it. I finally achieved that level of experience and skill that I visualized in my head before making this video. Sure, it took way longer than it should have. Maybe I could have trained more often, but in the end, I stuck with it. I can tell you that jump rope reminded me that some goals are just going to seem unattainable when you start. It's going to feel unnatural and even unreasonable. And after many hours, your efforts are going to lead to results you're not even proud of. But you got to just keep reminding yourself that the results will show up if you keep showing up. One day it will hit you that things just clicked. 
that you achieved a massive progress and you didn't even see it because you were so obsessed with perfection that you never even looked back on the mountain of progression you have built. I was just so motivated again during the last phase of the challenge. And while the crossovers were admittedly still annoying and I never 100% mastered them, I was getting pretty damn good at them anyway. I still hated the pain that came from the mistakes when you had practiced doing this, but I was beginning to get kind of used to it. And honestly, I went through a lot of physical pain to improve this trick, and I should at least be proud of myself for it, just sticking with it. When you feel that flow, like that natural flow, when you stop having to think about the rope so much and it becomes second nature, that's like the most rewarding thing of this whole experience. All right, I guess this is it, results day. I waited a few days since my last practice session to let my body fully recover, especially my shins, which still ache a little bit, but it will be good. Honestly, kind of nervous to do this. I hope it looks impressive, because if I don't look impressive after 100 days of training, then this video is a failure. <laughs> First challenge is to try and do 50 double unders in a row. I know it sounds like a lot, and it, it really is. All the way back on day one, I could like do one with shitty form, and then I couldn't do twice in a row. I'd trip right after the first one. After 100 days of practice, let's see if I can do 50 in a row. You know, it's 100 days, man. You gotta, you better be good at this shit. So these attempts started out way worse than I hoped. I couldn't even get 20 in a row during these attempts, and that sucks because in previous practice sessions, I could. So I gave myself a small break from this challenge for the moment and decided to go for how many normal skips in a row I could do instead. So after messing up a couple attempts, I started to actually surprise myself as I got over 100, 200, 300, and eventually I reached 490 on my last attempt. This was a huge win for me, but I didn't want to celebrate too much because I still wanted to get 50 double unders in a row. But unfortunately, things were still going kind of bad. Being a bit more warmed up now, I was able to get 20 in a row consistently, but always messing up at 30 or 40. And as I got tired and the sun started setting, it was starting to look like it just wasn't gonna happen. I wouldn't get so frustrated and like stressed if I had like infinite attempts, but I don't because I'm starting to fatigue. I'm starting to like actually get tired and like your performance gets worse when you're tired. So it's like I'm running out of attempts kind of sucks. I want to get 50, bro. Oh my god, that's fucking like 40 or something. Ah, oh, so fucking close. Around now, I started to feel that familiar feeling of anger I experienced during the middle of this challenge. But all I really could do was just keep going because otherwise I would have just been disappointed in myself if I gave up early. Finally. Oh, I'm gonna pass out. Holy shit. I got a headache. But I had to keep going. Until I couldn't. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> it's like, I think I was about to black out. My head really hurts. Is that what almost passing out feels like? I never passed out before. I think I'm done for today. I'm going home, fuck this. But I fucking did it. <laughs>